brought a few spoons um, to show you. Um, some of you might like to make a spoon, but if, you, if it's your first time, I suggest you make what we call a, a butter knife. This is a Swedish design, and it's good. For, it's really good for beginners to make, and also children to get them interested in and in using a knife safely. And I'll, I'll show you a few few carving techniques. Um, so yeah, this is the sort of thing you can make. Once you've handled a knife, knife a while, you can make, make some spoons and, and bowls. But to start with, we're going to make a butter knife. So this is a blank, and you're, you're going to say that's a shop-bought bit of wood, and, and it is, you're right, and it's from a sawmill. And, and to me, I don't think it's cheating, it's just something that helps a beginner learn. Um, so you catch the child, the, the interest, the, the curious mind. If you start a child and say, go out and carve a blank, they might struggle because they, they haven't built the muscles up, they find it hard, they might cut themselves serious, they might get bored, frustrated, and then, and then you've lost, lost their, their interest. So if you get a blank, you, they, can, they can do this at home, they haven't even got to be in a woodland to do it. It's just using a knife safely and, and getting to know the tool. Uh, and, th and this wood is a bit of pine and it's um, very straight grain and it's a really soft wood. R really, really good for beginners and children. So I've picked this one out because it's got grain and it hasn't got any big knots. Whereas I like knots, they're a nice feature in handles, but they're very difficult to carve. So, so try not try and piece it. Try and pick a blank with, with no knots in first. Then you can carve out a template or like like use that or even a piece of paper and cut it out. Again, help the person if they're a beginner, that's alright. And then with a rustic pencil, this is a bit of charred stick from the fire. Just go around the template and then you've got the outline. Then we're going to use the handsaw on the workbench. And you see you've got the neck of the butter knife. I'm gonna I'm gonna carve down to that neck and create a stop gap. Now I just want to measure round. So I don't go too far. Keep this hand well out the way. Remember on the hand saw, three, one, thumb. Okay, so I've carved down to the neck, and that's created what we call called a stop. Now I'm going to take off this piece of meat here by just splitting it down. So line up. And there you go. And that's come away. Right, next thing I'm going to do is to carve this piece. And like I say, it's, it's a really soft wood pine. And um, anybody that's not used to carving, it's a, it's a craft which is achievable in a couple of hours, you know. Make a really good job of it. So you keep whittling away, go, keep going down to the line, go with the grain. Then I'm going to go around the back of the butter knife. And what this is doing is, it's hand-eye coordination. Smell it, you get used to the wood, pine, so, you, so you're getting to identify dead pine. You're getting used to handling the knife. You're building your muscles, the strength in your wrists. Um, now this cut, you're gonna cut towards you. So you keep your arms in, because then if you slip, you're not gonna cut yourself. And you just push and you just, nibble away at it like so 
but you must keep your arms in. If you cut, if you cut with them out there, you're likely to go into your chest. So keep everybody well away. If you've got a group of children, don't sit too close. Keep keep your distance. And you see, I'm using my other hand before, behind to to push on it. And you keep nibbling away like that. And I'm going down to that stop there. Little stop cut. Okay. And you just keep going until you create the butter knife that you want but like I say it's achievable for anybody to do in a couple of hours and like I say for a child who's never done any bushcraft or used a knife before and it's a real confidence build builder okay so you just keep chipping away at it until you get to the dimensions you want and then you can sand it and then oil it and then have some sandwiches. <laughs>